Hey everybody, it's Andy's Free Guitar Chart Videos here. Uh, welcome to my Facebook friends and my uh, YouTube subscribers and anyone who has found this video who wants to uh, watch Andy's Guitar Chart Video or learn more about guitar. Um, today's a really special lesson because um, uh, I'm in the process of uh, replacing the note the note grid on my guitar here so uh actually was uh you know had to take the the notes off they were getting too old they're about three years old and of course i have a uh, another set to put on there um when when i um do that or i might reprint them so you know i'm, I'm kind of in, in, a, in a series of uh indecision you know I should really put these on there today and just get on with it. Um, but so since uh, since the storm, I've made about uh, five or six charts, and luckily I didn't make a lot of recordings. I just watched some of my lessons and uh, got some ideas, and that kind of helped. So I don't have a bunch of YouTubes to upload today, you know, when the, we just got the internet back yesterday. So what I thought would be appropriate to do would be a, a couple of charts and some theory on dots. And that's what, that's what it is. So as you can see, here's the dots now. I'm still down tuned here. And by the way, I was scraping the dots off with my finger and I hurt my fingernail. So I'm kind of, uh, it's going to take me a little couple of seconds to get a pick so I don't hurt my mighty fingernail so again these are the dots you could consider the fret nut like a dot right it's because it's a way it's a waypoint it's it's a starting point and it would be like the double dot here with my guitar I down tuned the guitar two whole notes so it goes like this Okay, so my low note here is actually a low C, whereas yours is the slow E here. Okay, so if I put the capo on, it would be putting it on the G dot here and uh that would be where your guitar is is that so let's get started on dots because i've got a really cool thing to show you and I, i'm sure you've been waiting for it um initially okay this is the second chart on dots and we've got this easy dot rule and we've got the easy dot rule table that i made okay so Let's look down here. Here's the dots, like I was saying, an E, uh, the fret nut is, is kind of like a dot. And then the first dot would be on the G, the second dot would be on the A note, the third dot on the C note, the fourth dot on the C sharp note. Okay, and then there'd be a double dot. Sometimes my dots look like eggs, by the way, because... Um, it's easy when you're doing guitar charts to resize things and for guitarists to see a different size here as if somebody had taken this picture and squished it, it it's just okay for us we just it doesn't even phase us but when dots turn into eggs that you know that might be uh, uh, you know a little noticeable you know so Sorry about that. Um, I've been working on making the dots nice and circular, so like up here. And let's talk about this. I don't have this on the on the new chart, but I want to do the dots, even though I've done like five charts since uh, since the storm took the internet for a while. And by the way, I just paid my internet bill, and it actually was twenty dollars less. So that's how much internet we lost, like twenty dollar, like twenty percent. But I don't think it was a straight 20%. Uh, but, you know, it wasn't quite six days. But it might have, might have been. 
a while, might have been five or six days, from Hurricane Alina. So, um, I made these charts, and uh, of course, I had a lot of time. I scraped off my notes because they were getting old. And look at how nice and shiny this is. You know, and I wouldn't suggest this though, because it still looks like rough. You know, it looks like it's taken a little, a little punishment. Um, I'm waiting for the uh, the goo gone to dry. The that uh, might be damaging to you know expensive guitar. So don't try putting notes on your guitar if it's really a guitar that's worth more than like a hundred dollars. So this this one cost me eighty five dollars. <laughs> Um, so, you know, of course, me, it's my, my own personal choice. I'd put, I'd put the notes on a million dollar guitar if I had one, you know, I, I mean, that's, that's just what I do. But if I had that much money, I'd be able to hire a designer to build the notes right into the guitar. But it's, I think it's healthy to, um, you know, look at the dots and it's an opportunity. I have my other guitar has the dots on there. But that one's not tuned up, and I have to get a lesson going. My wife's out. She got gasoline, and uh, she went out, probably working out at the uh, factory. And so, um, you know, here it is. So that if you look at if you look at the dots, not as a, a, a strict note, you look at it as just there's a minor third here. So this would be the minor third dot right here. You see, so with down C tuned, that, that I'm tuned with down C tuned, I have to manage the pick now. We'll, we'll get to the rule in a minute. With down C tuned, the dot is on the C because my lowest note is that C. Okay, so the dots would be like on a C and E flat, and F is the fourth dot, the the perfect fourth dot. G is the is the fifth dot, and A is the sixth dot. Whereas in regular tuning, the the root dot I call it the root dot in E tuning, okay, is on the E. The minor third dot is on the G. The fourth, the perfect fourth dot. Okay, so here's here's the E, and then we go to the minor third dot, which is the G. I'll just turn this up so I don't have to double the notes, so we can make sure we got the right pitches here. Here's your guitar, right? I could go to the guitar. Um, the guitar voice is 43 on this thing. So if I, if I do this, press four, three here. Is it going to do that? Okay. It says folk guitar, 43, huh? Well, it still sounds like a piano. Okay. Uh, here we go. There's E, and then your G is... Okay, then we got A. It's the fourth. And then B is the fifth. Notice G was the fifth in the C tune guitar. And then we have a sixth. I mean, it makes sense, but when I first saw this, and then we have octave. Okay, so it makes sense um, that this is the way it's, it's, it's set out. When I first saw this, I was trying to fit one key into those dots. So I looked at it and I said, okay, here's my C shape. Oh, okay, so C goes to A. Well, here's my A shape. Look, there's an, there's two dots there. That must be it. Okay, A shape goes to G shape. Wait a minute. But this dot isn't a minor third there because it's not arranged in just one key. Okay, the dots are arranged the way they are arranged. I have my theories about that before. But it doesn't matter now. This new method I have, it's it makes it possible that any dot you want to start on or any note at all. So if you have a dot on a C sharp, if you just want to start on the C dot, which would be here,